Hey there Aquarius, welcome and welcome back to Stars of the Andorica YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with you a love reading for the week of February 7th through 13th. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down below subscribe what are you waiting for it is free to subscribe and it really really helps the community the lucky stars community to grow and thrive oh dang just dropped them all down here man what a mess i just made uh i don't know is that what some of you are feeling this week as far as love goes what a mess i just made this is going to take me a second to get back in order here we've got any cards going everywhere these are the slicky slicky guys so hopefully you guys can hear me while i am picking these up and uh yeah anyway some of you may feel like you made a mess out of things so that might be what might be coming through for you this week in love aquarius also i want to say happy birthday to all of my aquarians my fellow aquarians i don't get it in every single video every single reading uh the reminder or the happy birthday but i do want to say happy birthday if i have missed a day or your birthday i apologize happy happy birthday happy happy birthday happy happy birthday to you not a singer so whew, that was tough that was difficult that was rough all right <laughs> let's see let's see aquarius so we've got one here Got one here, one here, one here, and one here, and the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. Seven and the three. Interesting. Sorry, I never noticed this before. All right, pentacles. You got pentacles out. So some of you might be coming into this energy or this relationship. I don't know why I was going to put that down on the floor. Interesting. Um, of like a power couple dynamic, okay? Or some of you are in this energy of a power couple dynamic and now you feel like you've kind of messed everything up. I don't know, that's just what's coming through from the beginning, but we're going to check the overall energy here. The overall energy is the devil. Oh, Aquarius, isn't that interesting? Isn't that just stinking interesting? The devil coming out first card overall energy take a deep breath Aquarius make sure you sit down because you know we could be in for a wild ride with this one a definitely wild ride okay some of you as your overall energy um it feels like there's been obsessive or codependent energy around love now if you didn't watch if you didn't watch, I don't know why it had such low views, the um, February 2024 monthly love reading. I'm going to link it at the end. Make sure you watch it. It had some low views, but Aquarius, that, that energy is pulling through into this weekly reading as well, okay? Some of you are just, uh, I don't, yeah, kind of really in obsessive codependent energy, okay? That's the overall energy coming through here, or somebody is, okay? Um very, very interesting. Your energy here, Aquarius, is the Ace of Swords, okay? And and doesn't that make sense? Because you are Swords energy. This is your energy. So, ow, ow, wow. Wow, ow, wow. Okay, interesting that I said ow instead of wow there. Some of you, um, as your energy here, Aquarius, there, there's this energy of, of wanting to face problems, having open communication, being very honest. Um, and there's that energy of that sword cutting, right? Um, that sword cutting. So be careful this week. Okay. Your energy, you want to communicate, you want to face problems head on, you want to really be honest, but there's that, that double sided or double edges of the sword. Okay. That sword cutting, um, in a way like it's almost as if uh 
it's almost as if you're wanting to be a little bit too open, too honest, too uh, out there, that communication really, and somebody isn't wanting that, okay? So there's a potential with that overall energy of that devil that somebody feels like you're verging on being obsessive and or codependent or, you know, uh, not able to kind of do your own things or have any independence, all right? Let's go ahead and see their energy. Their energy is the nine of pentacles. So Aquarius, they could be feeling very independent. They may be wanting to do all the things by themselves. They really may be um, wanting some, almost some free time or some time away. Now, whether you're with this person or or what have you, this could be current energy. It could be past energy, Aquarius. But um, again, that that energy of that monthly reading is coming through. This independent energy that they're in, Aquarius. Now, pentacles are earth signs. Taurus. Uh, I was trying to put Taurus and Virgo together. So it could be somebody who has both Taurus and Virgo. Or you could have those placements. But this is your person's energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's... They could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They don't have to be, but um, they they are very much wanting some independent energy right now. They are very much in the space of um, they're having high standards. They're, you know, in a place of, of independence. So for some, they just are wanting to be out doing their own thing. Okay, wanting to be out doing their own thing. And uh, Aquarius, you are like, whoa, we need to have a conversation. So that might be where this devil is coming in. There, they, because the devil can also be a temptation, that overall energy. They may be feeling tempted, right? They may be wanting to go out and do their own thing, being single and mingling, right? So um, just pay attention to that. Now, the energy in between you guys, oh, dang, Aquarius, the Five of Cups. I was thinking this reading was going to turn around and be different than the last couple of readings, Aquarius, but that Five of Cups energy is coming through. It's coming through, okay? So um, there is a potential that there has been a breakup between you guys, and one of you is codependent because this is this is the energy between you. This is grieving a, a breakup, grieving a loss, grieving this, um, like, wow. Oh, Aquarius, there's sadness, right? Um, and or there's tension between you guys. It's like you want to come together. You want to communicate and or, right, um, have some openness, face problems head on. They're wanting to be independent. There's this tension or this grief or a potential breakup. That overall energy of that devil coming in clutch here or coming in strong, Aquarius. Um, it, it makes sense with the other cards out here. Whew. Okay. Whew. Let's go ahead and see. But, but look, your potential outcome is coming through as the four of uh, wands. Isn't that interesting? I almost said the four of swords. The four of wands. That's coming in as the four of wands. So there is a potential for this being rectified. There being clarification. There being an openness. There being, right, um, that five of cups doesn't... Th it's almost like this, it's not the end of the tale right here, Aquarius, okay? That's what's coming through. It's almost as if it's not the end of the tale. There's something else that's coming through. There's a celebration that's coming in. Um, it's very interesting because now um, Spirit's redirecting me back to this energy between you. Yes, there has been some spilled milk or some cups that have been toppled over, but you also still have these two. And Spirit's indicating one of these is you and one of these is your person. Wow, that's kind of... um. I don't know, cringe. <laughs> it came through a big cringe here, requires, but it's indicating that, that there's two here and those two are still standing tall. So there's a potential for a comeback within this, this week, of course. What is that comeback going to be? There's a potential with this four of wands that you're going to both be invited to something. It could be a wedding, an engagement, um, some kind of gathering, and, but there's a public celebration or there's celebrations of love. It could be your love or other people's love, but it's going to, it's almost like somebody in your friend group has something going on, an event or something, and it's going to bring you guys back together and you're going to see kind of a different, or, or either that or you're going to have some communication and it's going to open things up. Uh, but of course that four of wands is that potential outcome. Okay. So it's very interesting how we go from the temptation and or that 
that energy with the devil of being codependent or um, being almost obsessive, right? Uh, to yours, to, to that shared, to that, that four of wands. So there is going to be a twist here, Christ. Again, make sure you're sitting down because whatever that twist is going to be could just knock you off your feet. That's interesting <laughs> that they came through. Now, the advice that Spirit has for you here, you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So teamwork makes the dream work, all right? This is like coming together and getting on the same page and mastering, um, right? Mastering kind of this whole um, idea of love or relationship, like cultivating and com coming together, working as a team to cultivate the relationship or the love or um, even like just the ideas of the two of you standing together. For some of you, this this celebration or this, um, it's almost as if, okay, I have to give you what I'm getting. It's almost as if one of you with this overall energy of Christ of, of being codependent or obsessive, one of you is in a bad mood and you're like, you're like thinking that that is what is happening with your, with your other person. Right. And if it's you, it's coming through a Christ that you're being honest, you're communicating, you're wanting to face problems head on, but your person maybe being a little bit with their energy, maybe being a little bit withdrawn or almost like kind of a stingy energy, right? Like they're holding on to this much and you're trying to give this much or, or what have you. But um, or they're, they're holding on to this much, but only giving you this much, right? Uh, however, that comes through for you, Heracles, but it's, it's almost like they're being a little bit stingy. They're independent. They're wanting to, you know, do their own thing, be out on their own and what have you. And so, um, the energy between you, right? If we look at it, the three cups are on your side, the two cups are on their side. And, and isn't that interesting? It would almost be like opposite, right? Like you're, you're the one that's ready to stand up and do all the things and they're the one that wants to be independent. So it's almost as if this was flipped this way or flipped this way, this way. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, but it's coming through with, again, that, uh, feeling almost like something might be broken or, or right. Something, something not quite working, but it all comes together at the end. So, there's a twist, Aquarius. There's going to be a twist this week in love that is going to really, really be uh, exciting. It feels like it feels like there's going to be an exciting twist. So let's see what else we've got. I got these cards here, these message cards. Let's see a message. Let's do a message from you for your person and a message from your person for you. Okay. Now remember, you're in that energy this week, Aquarius, of that Ace of Swords, wanting to face problems head on, but it doesn't feel like that's where your, your person is. So something may just come through. It could be this message from you to your person. Um, something may just come through that, that creates a different energy from your person later on, right? For that Four of Wands energy. Ooh. Okay, this is you. Your message for your person is, when I look into your eyes, the whole world stops and I forget where I am. Ooh, Aquarius. So um, it it's, could almost be right on that um, obsessive side, not, not throwing the initiate or anything, but, you know, could almost be. Um, it does feel very much like that overall energy is coming from you, but of that obsessive codependency energy and theirs is kind of that temptation energy. So, um, it's almost as if you are like swooning, right? With the, got it. Okay. With the flamingos, like you're like, oh, but it's almost like they're pulling their energy away a little bit. They're doing the independent thing. I love that I can be myself around you. So that is their message to you, Aquarius. So um, there's a potential that something comes through where they feel like they have to act like somebody else or uh, pretend to be something that they're not. And that may be where that twist comes through this week, Aquarius, where they're like, you know what? With Aquarius, I can always act like myself. I can always be myself. I don't have to pretend to be anything else or have anything else or do anything else that isn't really true or isn't me. I can have, do, and be who I truly am. And Aquarius, you know, is right there no matter what. Isn't that gorgeous? What a beautiful reading. Well, I don't know. It has ups and downs. So of course <laughs> this week is going to have some up and downs, but you know what? You've got a little bit of foresight. You got a little bit of, of information ahead of time, you know, get on the same page, uh, really 
work together as a team and cultivate kind of the ideas or the relationship goals. For some of you also, Aquarius, you're wanting to be too true and that's really um, causing a little bit of friction or a little bit of tension. So just so that you know, sometimes we don't have to put it all out there at one time, okay? Sometimes we can hold a little back for the next moment in time, all right? Just putting that out there. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. So subscribe right down there. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.